Hello everyone. Welcome to the video lecture series of mobile application development. In our previous session, we have talked about that the, how the activity life cycle works, what are the different callbacks for the activity life cycle, and what are the different stages for the particular activity. We have seen the on create, on destroy, on start, on restart, on pause, various number of callbacks method for the activity. Today, we are going to see how we can implement this activity lifecycle in our Android Studio program. Okay, so let's start with the programming for the activity lifecycle. So students, here you can see, uh, this is my interface for the Android Studio. Uh, I have already created one program for this. Why? Because, see, let me just explain the whole scenario. I have just created one particular program. This is my Android manifest file. In this Android manifest file, students, you are able to see the different two activities are written over there. One activity with the name like activity, second activity, other activity with the name like main activity. So, when you click on the file, then new, then new project, okay, file, new, new project, and when you start a new project, students, it will take some time to build the gridles and grab some files from the internet. So, that's why uh, it took some amount of time. Okay, so I already did this process. So, we can directly move towards the program part. So, this is my first activity students. Usually, what you get, you get like this. Main activity file. Okay. So, this is my main activity file. You get uh, only this up to this only. See, like packages, uh, all the import files, the main activity extends app, co app compact activity, the protected view void, on create bundle, save instance state and all. This on start and all the methods are not there we need to write or we need to call these methods okay so what this particular code all about so here i what i have created let me show you see i have attached my two different smartphones one is vivo one is xiaomi so i am going to run my all the program in the particular xiaomi screen we can run this program in the avd as well but EVD took some bit, little bit of more time. So to save the time for the recording purpose, I am going to use the my actual smartphone. Okay. So I just connected my smartphone with the USB. Uh, it is here. Okay. I just connected my the smartphone with the USB and my system. And then I can see this my, my smartphone. I can see over there in my screen. But if I am going to show you like this, you are not able to understand, sir, how you did this. So, I have just installed one software which is known as Mirror. When I click on the STR CPY, this particular file, dispatch file will run and execute and it will show me the particular output of my smartphone screen. Okay, students, uh, there might be some error. Okay, students, there might be some error in running the two devices simultaneously right now in my computer. So, I will show how to run the particular screen, okay, later. But before that, let me just explain the whole particular coding part. So, this is my main activity file, what I have written over here. So, I just need to click on the resources in the layout. In the layout file, I have this one particular screen layout, students. So, what I did over here, I just created, instead of hello world, I will just create the first activity. Then, this is my constrained layout, because we have the various type of layout. So, what I did, see. Uh, from this particular, let me just, this is code, this is plate, this is design view, okay. Let me just come towards the design view. I have just clicked on the constraint layout and then change its uh, color, the background color from here. See, this is our palette over here, the wizard over there. We can change the background color from here as well. See, this is my, I have just changed the background color. Okay, then to this particular uh, text, I have given one ID, so it's ID over here. I can we can also give the ID from here. See, this is a ID. Okay, 
So this is the ID students we can see the ID is uh, what is the ID see we can, we can move towards the coding part so our ID is a second activity okay on the click on the second our ID is second activity again so that means I did some mistake over here let me just change it so see go to the activity main part click on the split view instead of second activity this must be first activity so it will ask you to restore the first activity everywhere so yes then my first activity is restored over here so this is my coding part under the text view i have written over that one id why did give the id students because by the reference of this particular id i can move from the one activity to the another activity that i will show you by using the intent we can go over there okay so this is the id which is one of the first activity then the android layout I have we have already defined the height and width when you just go to the design part and you just move this particular text from the here to here it will automatically set its height and width and everything if you want to give the height and width then you can write down that code over here see the android text size is 36 sp okay sp dp these are the terms that we need to use by giving the sizes okay then you need to set your constraint from the bottom we can say left right and the top as well as from the vertical and horizontal bias as well okay so such like this students you can need to define all things you do not want to course such uh, too much in the very beginning you just need to go down into the design part drag and drop the things over here the text from here to here and write down your content over there it's a it should be always remember it should be a plain text not a text view. it should be a plain text okay so such so like this students uh, you can create your first activity screen now when we talk about the coding part so what do you need to take care of that so inside the code do not forget to write down the id id okay how to write down the id you can write down the id like this then move towards the main activity part now when we talk about the main activity at the very beginning we have the on create method with us so students here if you can see this is my on create method inside the on create method i just uh, another method i just need to write like this on start on restart and every method i have written over here so what i did see i already told you i just i need to write like super dot on start then make a toast object and then toast make text get context application on start call this is a message that we can see when we just call a method then instead of toast underscore length long we can make it short okay so short is a very short length we can just it just shows you and gone back so you can change to the long and short so this is just a toast that you can see in a smartphone same like that i just written the same message for the on start on pause then on resume on stop and on destroy now when you talk about the on create method, what I need to do, I just need to bind my whole code in the on create. So this is on create code. Very first code is on create save instance. Okay, we need to do this. Then set content activity main. See, this activity main refers that this is a main activity is all about the activity underscore main XML. So you just need to bind your layout XML file over here. Fine. Next. I again make a toast message for the toast toast then this since in the over here students I will show the toast then I am going to take a text view okay what I why I am taking a text view see uh, I just need to fetch the id of the first activity that is written over here see this is a first activity activity dot main dot xml is uh, split the design so this is the first activity its id is first activity so i just need to fetch over here that is a first activity so first activity find by view inside the view when a view contains the first activity it will store into the text view then when you write down the text view dot set on click listener see this on click listener is a method that when you just click on the particular click on the particular activity but plain text then something happens what happens this click set on click listener 
need to call a method that is on click view inside it we just need to create work intent so your intent is there a new intent is created and why we used to intent we just need to pass a data from one activity to another activity just to move from one activity to another activity we need to write down the code in the intent itself so here i what i did see see i just write down main activity dot this that i want to move from main activity to which activity that second activity dot class file that i want to move from main activity to second activity class file then start activity intent this code you need to write down inside the on create method okay do not forget to write fetch the id by using the text view find view by id method then set the context on click listener over there then inside it just write down the on click method create intent set the intent write down the source and the destination uh, classes and then start intent so when you click over here it will move towards the next activity so it's it what is it it is second activity so inside the second activity my whole code same as the first one see i didn't write anything else what i did i just write down the gravity over here so why i write down the gravity so that i should explain by using the smartphone devices so many times what happens students we get a toast message over here see if i am just captured if you are, if you are able to see this if i just capture the smartphone and get back it will show like this the capture the smart capture the photo toast will occur over here but what happens with the gravity i just set the gravity toast gravity as a center that means the toast message will show over here fine in the center of the screen so what i did for the first activity the messages will be shown on the bottom and for the second activity the messages will shown on the center part fine so this is all about the toasting the message and how it will looks like so let me just start one thing let me uh, do not do not run this program in the xiaomi if you i want to run this program into xiaomi just click over there and click on the run button okay then the application will start the running but let me try again once again to get the particular data okay that how to run this program so let me just go to the mirror and run this batch file okay so it is just uh, stopped my view so i am just going to uh, remove my video capture for a few minutes okay so students i just removed my video capture for the few minutes let me just show you this again click over here uh, mirror and start running it it's so see you can see my screen of my smartphone over here okay so finally we have our smartphone screen so i have just mirrored my smartphone okay nothing uh, nothing new so let me just open up my smartphones so this is my first let me just run this code see run particular code it will launch inside over here see when i click on the run button it will take some amount of time and the activity gets launched in my particular screen now wait for a few minutes the activity is launched in the xiaomi smartphone see automatically the application will launch so this is my first activity see the so on start on create on create method is called on start method is called on resume is also called so now you can see your first screen so this is our first activity now when i click on the first activity okay what happens activity will move from the first activity to the second activity that means the first activity should go on the pause state so here it is see on pause call and after it the second activity is created second activity start second activity get resume fine now on stop called because after the pause the activity is stopped so on stop method is called okay for the first activity now let me just click on the home button let's see what happens so second activity goes on a pause state fine and now it's in a stop stage okay now click on the home button over here and click on the over see 
again restarted so from the stop it again restarted and now start and now resume see the all toast messages are shown over here in the center of this particular now when i click on the activity see the second activity will pause okay let me just click it again so on create call on start call on resume call okay same like that students second activity methods get cancel out so on pause call so wait a minute these toast messages will be shown for the previous one okay so just wait for a minute let's uh, all toast gets completed and finally you will get find get the final answer so this is all about the previous second activity get stopped and you comes into the on stop call okay second activity is on pause and then on create call so this is our final output because i have just clicked two times that's why the toast is shows like this so on start call on resume call and right now i am on the first activity screen where second stop and this is my all about the first activity screen when i click on again on the home button the activity get paused okay it's on pause again click on this button so on stop call completed then on the started call activity get started so this is activity life cycle is a application name that we can change also see if you want to change the particular name then you can change from here like values strings activity life cycle demo jjs 2 then click on the run app again so this is my phone i just click on the run app again so just wait for a few minutes terminate the process yes i want to terminate the process and the activity gets restarted again so it's just launched okay so this is not my ABD, this is my uh, smartphone mirror image okay so this is all about the on start call now let me click on the home button so on paused call now when i click on the resume sorry music method music music application is here now when i click over here and get back to the first screen it's again restarted so this is all about the activity life cycle so students if you have any doubt in this particular application life cycle then please feel free to ask me thank you so much